Hey guys, Superturn here. Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. Last time we uh, found a boss that I refused to fight, if possible. I'm gonna have to fight him at some point. And we also made a decent bit of progress through Dracula's castle, including getting a few glyphs, um, two pieces of Valkyrie mail. I think we already have the boots. Do we already have the boots? We probably already have the boots, but I don't have them equipped. Yeah, we already have the boots. I kind of like being able to move fast, though. The Mercury Boots have spoiled me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep being able to move fast. I really like being able to move fast. And, um... Other than that, we're just going to keep going up. Because I don't want to fight the boss that's down, like I said. I don't like that boss. And I'll explain why when the time comes. If you played the game before, you know why I don't like him. He's pretty not fun. Let me heads. And that's what happened when they hit you. Man, that took a while to get out. What are the gray, the gray ones actually called? I don't know. What the gray ones are actually called yet. We'll figure it out at some point. Yeah, this area is probably one of the few points of the game where you use Magus a lot. And you do use it a lot in here. And I do kind of like that there's at least one area where they force you to make use of it because it's otherwise been not very made use of. Not very made use of at all. What's to the right? Do I want to go right or left? I think I want to go left, question mark. Does it matter? Other question mark. Oh god! Oh god. That totally could have ended horribly. But it didn't. Oh, thank god I killed him. Yeah, more mini bosses. Who would have guessed? Ah, crap. Yeah, down there is the way I wanted to go first because reasons. Also, Sticks Passage. Hmm, I wonder what's going to be at the end of it. Nothing important. Couldn't be. I almost feel like, as well, the uh, Glyph Union for this isn't super useful because you can get like just about as much damage, if not more, by by um not using it. Don't want to hit that. Don't want to hit that. Don't want to hit that. Good job. Because you can like, since you can rapid fire essentially, otherwise you could probably get more damage out when you don't use the Union. Yeah, I want to go up because this is a dead end passageway and. We all know that dead-end passageways are amazing. Don't want to hit you. Bugbears! Bugbears! Come on, get one more hit on you. Oh, you're dead. Okay, good. Nope, you're not dead. Now you're dead. I should heal. I got... Steak! That was an amazing heal from that steak. And destroy a bowl here. Because were they really going to leave an empty room? Is this what I want? Is this what I want? Yes! Alright. The Death Ring. Ah, uh, the Death Ring. You become death. And everything becomes death to you. Look at that stat increase. But, any hit will kill you. It turns you into a one hit point wonder. But the amount of damage you can do is outrageous. Now then, proper min-maxing strategy really requires you to be at about at this point on your second New Game Plus at least, so that you have two death rings. Because yes, the effects stack. There's also one other aspect that can be used to make you do more damage, which is uh, I make use of this for like kind of cheesing a little bit the final boss to the point where like I gotten the final boss to the point in some playthroughs where I can kill him before he even does like his second phase. Like, he does a transition to a second phase, and he's dead before the transition's done. I promise you, I can make this jump. But, um, the death ring, it like requires a death ring and another trick, which I'll explain when the time comes. But, um, my trick for the boss that's down below that I despise was basically this. I would get 
what's the word I'm looking for? I would get two um, two death rings, and I ran through this for the not the no damage run. Actually, the no damage run when I was no damaging bosses, I had the death ring on for every boss. For this particular one, whenever I fought him after I get the no death on my actual cartridge, I went through and I had two death rings on, and right before he would hit me, I would take them off, and he would just hit me, and then I put him back on. It worked. It was cheap. I didn't care. Alright. I'm gonna try this once. And I'm actually pretty sure that this does do more damage, yes. That is one thing. The sickle glyph will do more damage overall, and I need one. Do I have milk? I think milk. Yeah, that's fine. That's all I need heart-wise. I'm gonna try this once with the death rings. Or with the death ring on. Cause it's Cause it's fitting! We're fighting death. Also, I want to also put on Phidias Theo. Yeah, that did not end well end well and I knew it wasn't going to. I'm gonna go in better prepared this time. Also, did I ever show off the game over screen? Because that was totally the game over screen. It's now Dracula if you die or game over in here. So let me go over all this again so I'm properly prepared. I want to have strength on. I want to have Thalsis, Emilio Thalsis, since that is super strong. I want to equip in place of the Valkyrie ring, the death ring. And the Wind Ring will actually make me do even more damage because the Slash Element increase is so much better. I'm curious. This! This is gonna be a fight. So you think! Darn it! I'll see you when I do a successful run of this, because I want to show you how quickly you can kill boss. And again, this is the new game over screen. It's Dracula now. Actually, you know what? Because I already have everything set up, and death is literally right here, I can just show you until I do this. If it takes too long, I won't show you, and I'll just do it naturally. I should really just do this naturally anyway, so I can show you proper ways to fight him. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, I forget how I dodged that. I forgot how I dodged that. How did I dodge that attack? How did I dodge that attack? Yeah, and this was me, essentially, how I got my, uh... Perfect... Make no, my no damage run on bosses. That almost worked! I am honestly surprised that that almost worked. Alright. I'm gonna give this two more tries, and then I'm gonna do it normally. I promise. I promise. I didn't actually put on this. One more try. One more try, and then I do this normally. You just get a good picture of death so far. He has a few different attacks. We've seen the one um, where he makes three pa three pairs of sickles, and they come to attack you. We've seen that one. We've seen where he makes a bunch of little sickles. We see how he makes a bunch of sickles randomly appear in the arena. This one, however, can be very good. How do I... You know what? I don't trust my ability to handle this one. So, off you go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't trust my ability to handle that one, so... Off the ring goes. Yeah, so there's... A few other attacks, now that I'm not gonna be cheesing this. 
Also, Death Ring? I might try the Death Ring with, um... This up, because that's pretty devastating. I'm not completely sure how I dodged that, to be honest. I, as far as I can tell, was still in the... Also, that one, he makes three rings of, um... Three, like, death balls running around, you try to dodge out of them. I also like that death has... 4,444 health and gives 4,444 experience. For those of you who understand in um, Japanese culture, the number four is, if not pronounced identical, almost exactly the same as death. And there are four sets of four. Gee, who would have guessed, Genoa? I'm gonna put these glyphs on because. I do like the heads of Cerberus. I do enjoy how they work in general, even if for the most part, I'm better off with the sickles. And I wish that this one did ice damage and this one did fire, but no, they're just both slashing. I feel they dropped the ball on that one. Now then, despite my fuckery, I'm only 11 minutes in. Do I dare fight that boss? No. Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Um, I'm not gonna do it. You guys can't make me. You guys cannot make me fight that boss. Not a thing you can do about it. Nope. So instead, instead, let's set up the training hall. Now then, these two bonus areas, I'm confident I can get through the training hall at least. These two bonus areas, there is... Oh man, it's spoiling a glyph we totally don't have yet. Yes, that glyph is kind of nice, but you get it so in the game it doesn't matter too much. This area, by the way, the two um, bonus areas. One is a combat challenge, the other is a, a, like a dodging challenge. This is the dodging challenge. And believe me, it's easy for now. I also need to have this up. So it's still easy for now. And the entire goal of this is to get to the end, because you saw that there was the green chest up there. Our entire goal is to get to there. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this! Yeah, my main goal here is not to take damage by fire, because it hurts. But yeah, the death ring. You saw just firsthand how much damage, raw damage, Damage you could do with the death ring up. You also saw how easy. It, damn it. Nailed it! How easy it is to die. Just one hit, no matter what it is that hits you, will kill you. So the most important thing is to just go for min max. Anything that will increase your damage, use it. If the death ring's up, nothing else matters. Also, these guys there. I don't think we've seen them before. I'm gonna kill them. Double hammer! Fuck, they hurt! I'll see you guys back up there. Damn, they hurt! So, word of the wise, ignore them. Oh my god, those things, you don't have the room to properly fight them. Let me just make that clear. I'm gonna wait. I don't want to wait up there. I can wait up here. I'm gonna wait up here because... Yeah. Come on, let me through, let me through. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna wait up here. <sighs> I have no item that I don't wanna... Sure, that's fine. I don't need that anymore. Yeah. The double hammer. It is... A very elite enemy, and that's... I don't think I'm going to be able to do the large cavern currently. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the large cavern currently. That's not even the worst thing in the large cavern! If, if that doesn't explain it to you guys, I don't know what will. Also, there are several points which where you can leave and just kind of go on with your life. I'm not going to take use out of any of them because... All the way! Alright, I think we need to go up because this is going to be... Magus challenge. Yep. Yep. 
I do like how they do give you the ability to dodge out from that one if you fuck up, like I did. Because you're gonna probably fuck up. The fire in Magus can be kind of challenging. And you gotta get through the room with no issues. <sighs> Alright, let me see. What's this room? This room I gotta jump over there. Oh god, up top looks really pleasant. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I want to do it now! Alright, so this should be an easy... Nope! 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 That totally did not work out in my favor, but I thought I could have cheesed it. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard one, because you gotta you gotta react quickly. It's gonna be coming around now. Oh thank god. Thank god I was right on that. I'm very glad I was right on that. This one as well is gonna be a fun one. But we can make it through pretty easily. Okay, so assuming it's just you. Oh, you're the easy one. Okay. And no, I can't. Okay, so I do need to actually do this. Okay, I'm smart. I'm super smart. Shut up! I still made it. <laughs> yeah, this is essentially a bonus area. If that hasn't been stated yet. Alright, I gotta use another kill item. If I must. Alright, fine, that can hurt you too. Whatever. Oop. Uh, yes, these areas. I jumped too soon? No, I didn't? Okay. This one is a tricky one in particular. Because you need to do that. I say it's a tricky one, then I do it perfectly. And that is the end of it. Our rewards. We get a high potion. We get a diamond. I don't think we need the diamond. We get a bit more of a challenge to go through. Because, oh, hey, you made it to the end? Nah, you, you still got more left to go. You get a glyph. What is this glyph? This glyph is Rudier. Glyph to magnetize blades for a dish. What? Rudier. Was it? Uh, yes, it was. Oh. Oh, it's this. I don't actually like that glyph too much, but I'm glad I remember what it was. Down here, you get another high potion. We are at least getting a bunch of potions, which is good because Lord knows that I can always use a potion. Well, I tried. The game kind of faked you out there. And all the way at the end, you get your proper reward. Out of that chest, it is possible to get an Alexandrite, as well as a few other materials. And you're able to leave this area and run back and do the whole thing again in order to get it. Now then, the large cavern, I'm not convinced I can do that currently. I'll do one attempt. If I can make it through it, it'll be a long episode. If I die... We're kind of, or if I die and I don't feel we can do it, I'm just going to stop there. Oh, this is... <sighs> oh, man. This is going to be nuts, actually, because the large cavern... Did I save? I'm going to make sure I save probably before I do this, because I don't want to have to redo the training grounds if I don't have to. I'm Actually, I'm going to have to anyway, because i got to get the Alexandrite, and I think you can only get it there. You might be able to get in a large cavern. I don't recall. But the large cavern is... Is it really preferable? There is a warp, by the way. Oh, God! Oh, God! I forgot! I regret everything! I regret everything! Everything. So yeah, I'm not doing the large cavern right now. You know, what? I'll give that one more go. I will give that one more go. <laughs> oh. 
That... That was bad. That... I... You know what? Yeah, I'll do this. I will do this so I can drop in here and... And instantly... Okay, I only took one minor hit. And I killed that many Tin Men. Okay. You also have to kill all the enemies to make the next door open. And the door closes behind you. This is an Arc Demon, I believe. Demon Lord, actually. He get, oh, he drops Globus as well, so you can get Globus somewhere else. I did not realize that. They also have a ton of health, so... You might want to steal Globus from them. Because that's actually a hard one to hit, or to steal, and... These guys have a ton of health. Kill both of them next door opens. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of enemies in this area that you won't see anywhere else. So be prepared and be afeard. Be very afeard. Oh god! Kill you! Just want to kill one of you! Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, I... To state it simply, the Wing Glyph Voltaire, which it was mentioned in that you can't use it in the training ground, you really want to use it in the cavern. Because being able to fly out of reach of many of the enemies is a godsend. And like I said before, keep in mind, the double hammer there, that's not the worst enemy in there. There is much worse. Regardless, that'll be enough for this time, guys. So this has been Silver Torn. Let's play Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. We don't need to see the intro again. We defeated Death, got the Death Ring, died with the Death Ring many times, and we went through the... We went through the training grounds. There is really only one thing left that I feel like trying to do right now. And you know what? I can at least get to it. I can at least get to it, so we can start off next episode with me instantly hating myself. What I'm speaking of is, of course, this boss down here. He is next on the agenda for stuff to do. Uh, Man. Yeah. This game... Oh, hey, Barbarian. What's Barbarian shoes do? I've never gotten those before, have I? Open to... Why do barbarians wear open to the sandals like this? Because they increase your strength. That's actually a nice strength increase. That will be nice for, um, death ring shenaniganry. Uh, do I want to show you? I might... I might go through a new game plus. If only, like, not, like, let's play the full thing, but... Show you exactly how hard you can cheese the final boss, because that's it's kind of fun. Regardless, this is where we need to be for the end of this episode. So, this has been Silver Torn. Let's play Castlevania: Order of Ecclesia. Next time, that son of a bitch. Why do I hate myself?